In this video, we are going to study the sum of the amplitudes of the internal angles of a polygon. Let's remember how to proceed to calculate the sum of the amplitudes of the internal angles of a polygon. It's important to keep in mind a definition of a polygon. So let's see what a polygon is. Polygon is a limited flat region that includes the boundary, which is a closed polygonal line. Please have a look at the picture one that shows some examples. The picture above shows two examples of geometric figures that are not polygons. The picture A is not a polygon because its sides are not formed only by line segments. The picture B is not a polygon because the line segments cannot intersect. And what is an internal angle of a polygon? An internal angle of a polygon is one that is formed by two consecutive sides, such as the angle TSR shown in the picture 2. Let us focus now on our goal. How to proceed to calculate the sum of the amplitudes of the internal angles of a polygon? In the polygons shown in the picture 3, diagonals were drawn from a single vertex. What can you observe here? Look at the table shown here. It is observed that the number of triangles, T, formed by the diagonals from a single vertex is equal to the number of sides n of the polygon minus 2 that is t equal n minus 2 according to the reasoning expressed in the table. Let us focus now only on one of the polygons, for example the square. The square is divided into two triangles. In this case, the sum of the amplitudes of the internal angles is equal to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees, that is 2 times 180 degrees. In the table, we will perform the same reasoning for the other polygons. For example, Hexagon. The number of sides is 6, which in turn divides into 4 triangles, and then the sum of the internal polygon angles is 4 times 180 degrees. Finally, we can conclude that the sum SI of the amplitudes of the internal angles of a polygon regular or irregular, with n sides is equal to So don't forget How to use this formula to calculate the amplitude of an internal angle of a regular polygon? Let's take the opportunity to remember the concept of regular polygon. A polygon is regular when all its sides are congruent and all its angles have the same amplitude. Picture 5 shows some examples of regular polygons. As in a regular polygon, the angles are all congruent. To calculate the amplitude of each angle, we must divide SI by the number of angles, or the sides, of the polygon. This is. So don't forget, 
the amplitude of an internal angle of a regular polygon of n sides is Thank you all very much for watching this video. It was really appreciated.